so morning all and early morning ride again back out with RB from the garage final ride test of this and this is the Lexmodo Echo 50 Euro 5 version and obviously I've been away for a week on holiday so my other ride technician obviously doesn't have a drift camera on his helmet and we always do a ride video, so I have said I will get this out. It's had the obligatory mileage put on, it's had 14k put on it. But I am just going to go out and get the final bit of mileage on it. Just around town, just to show you obviously these Euro 5 Echoes. Now this is the Echo Plus. Only difference being, the Echo Plus has a 12 inch wheel. Compared to the standard Echo which has 3.5-10 on it. Does it make any difference to handling the bike? If you are a novice rider, you're not going to notice the difference. But, we always say the bigger the wheel, the better the road holding. But at 30 miles an hour, it's not going to make a lot of difference. But if you are an experienced rider, you will obviously notice. It sits a little bit higher. And... It does corner a little bit better, but if you are a novice rider, you're not going to notice the difference. And just to answer the question, yes, it does have nylon tyres on it. All the bikes that are coming in from China, even the uh, some of the big brand bikes, still have the nylon tyres. Does it make a difference? No. Absolutely no difference using nylon tyres to a standard tyre. As I always say, if you're not happy with uh, what you've got on the bike, change it out. Now, I've never had a problem... On nylon tyres. My very very first bikes that I had, my Kawasaki's and my Hondas and even a Yamaha that I had back in the 70s and 80s all had nylon tyres or came out of China. Never ever dropped a bike. Never ever dropped a bike on nylon tyres. Now obviously I've had a, a few knocks over the years and that was all down to car riders or car drivers every single time that I've been off it has been a car driver but uh, these little echoes absolutely perfect and with these obviously 30 mile an hour maximum you can get about 35 out of a decent bike 35 maybe 36 out of them which is what you would expect out of a 50cc some people go, oh yes, but my 50cc, I can get 39, I can get 40. Your legal limit is 30 mile an hour. If you're going faster than that, PC Plod is going to uh, want to know the reason why. Because you are meant to be limited at 16 to 30 mile an hour. But uh, Urban Commute, it does the job. It's a great little bike. And it's an ideal little uh, backwards and forwards to work bike if you don't want to be using your car. Now obviously on your granddad's rights, you can ride these if you've got a full car license without a CBT, which is absolutely perfect. Obviously if you're a car holder and you're after a certain, I think it was 1991, don't quote me on that, check it up, obviously check up granddad's rights, but I'm sure it's after 1991 that you had to do a CBT but normally on a car license you can ride these on what's called Grandad's Rights just go and check that out if you just type into Google Grandad's Rights for 50cc it will give you all the details and it saves me blapping on about it what's she like over the speed bumps? perfect lovely soft seat on these so if you happen to be using it so you don't want to use your car to do two miles to work and back. These things do over a hundred to the gallon, which is absolutely lovely. Nice fuel economy, especially with what's going on with the fuel shortage. These take about five and a bit litres in them. And that will last you a good week and a bit. Even longer if you're only doing a couple of miles a day. So absolutely lovely little bike just to uh, run around. Tax on it is extremely low. Insurance on one of these is really, really low again. Or, if you're looking for something just to commute backwards and forwards, or your first bike, 
have you thought of going electric? Now obviously with the Lex Modos you've got the Cyta, you've got the Elex, you've got loads of those new electric scooters coming out and obviously with the Cyta you can unrestrict it and that thing will do 45 to 50 mile an hour on the flat and unrestricted mode. So if you happen to have uh, obviously your car license means you can go a little bit faster and the Cypher looks like a full motorbike as well. It looks like the uh, a similar version to the Lex Moto Riot that came out. Very similar shape, very similar design. And that is the Cypher. And we have sold lots of Cyphers. I've done loads of Cypher videos on how to unrestrict the Cypher as well. But the Lex Moto Echo is probably still one of the best selling 50cc mopeds. Everybody has had one of these and there are loads and loads of versions of these around also known as the long gear bt50 there are loads of different versions of this but all based around the lex moto echo because they all come out of the same factory or factories within the area oh no look the fuel queue is still massive <laughs> uh, i queued for an hour and a half last night because I was down to my last two miles in the car, managed to fill up. 25 quid in the tank, that will do me for the week. I'm not one of these that likes to fill his tank all the way to the top because you're just hauling around extra weight. Obviously now is the peak time. If you don't want to be using your car, get yourself a motorcycle. Motorcycles do a lot more to the gallon than a car. Cheaper on the tax, cheaper on the insurance. And you can also filter in traffic, so it does the job every time. So just banging on some test mileage on this, I'm just going to go round the block one more time, I'm going to try and rack up at least 20k on this, just check everything's all good. This bike is actually going out to our customer Nathan, he's due to pick up later on this afternoon and obviously give his dad a call say, yeah, bike is all good to go. Runs absolutely perfect. Now the only obviously downside that I pointed out on one of these, 30 mile an hour, if you're nipping around town, absolutely perfect. If you're doing a little bit longer run of, say, 8 or 9 miles, still good, but they do take their time to get up to 30 mile an hour. And uh, we did a timing run on one of these, on probably one of my last videos that we did on the Echo, comparing this to the Cypher. Yes, it does take a while to get to 30 mile an hour, it's normally about 10 to 12 seconds. If you wanted something a little bit nippier, go electric, because obviously the Cypher, the Elex and that, all electric motors, one, one speed, and it's just pure torque on an electric motor. This has obviously got belt and rollers, so it takes its time to get up to speed. But that's your two options, but for 50cc, first bike, absolutely lovely. Now obviously the ones that were discontinued were the Hunters, and I absolutely love those 50cc Hunters. But obviously uh, we've not got a, a full 50cc motorbike available anymore, they were all discontinued, the Hunter was discontinued, the Aspire was discontinued. Simple reason is... Most people like what's called a step-through, which is a scooter. And step-through just simply means you've got nothing between your legs. You can actually step through the bike. So scooters are sometimes known as step-throughs in biker terms. So how long does it take me to get up to 30? Still going, 25, 28, and we're there. So it takes me about 100 yards to get it up to 30. Now the thing with the Echoes is, obviously the more you ride them, the more they get to run in, the faster they get. Now with these you get a one year warranty, it is transferable, and your servicing regimes are slightly different. So first service comes in, I think it's around about 300 miles, if I'm correct on that, and then every thousand. So slightly different to the 125s. Is there a queue for fuel? No, the fuel station is open and uh, everyone's queuing for fuel. Another queue that side. Fools. I should have queued up this morning, not last night. 
So we're going to head back to the garage now. Ride test over 20k on the bike. Handling absolutely perfectly. Give the bike the obligatory clean. ACF cup of coffee. And then my cigarette. And then we're going to take out one of the Titans. Got a couple more bikes to do this week. Also got the photo shoot Friday. We're going to be doing the VFR 800. And I think we're going to be taking down one of the big ones, like the Intruder or the VMAX. So we've got some big bikes in at the moment. Nod, nod. So heading back to the garage. Let us know your uh, thoughts and comments on the Lexmoto Echo 50. Do you own one? What's it been like for reliability? Let us know in the comments down below. As I do say, go and check out the, uh, the videos from all my... Uh, my friends and my followers they're all listed in the description down below of all the bikers I follow go and have a look at Military Biker check out his rolling barrage go and have a look at Jim Diesel ranting on about the fuel shortage obviously Dad and Mad have done one as well going on about fuel lots of bikers at the moment we've all jumped on to the, uh, the analytics and those keywords of fuel to improve our views I've done one as well, my little 30 minute rant about fuel and my run to super sausage, that is up as well. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, if you give it a thumbs down, I don't really mind. Just means you've watched my video, thank you very much if you have watched. And of course for the next video in the series, hit that notifications bell. Don't forget you can subscribe to the channel as well, become a, a fully fledged subscriber to the channel for as little as $1.99 a month. If you go for the next option up you get yourself a sticker and then obviously next option up is a free t-shirt so that's all in subscription that is for the first month only you don't get one every month but uh, we're back at the garage until the next time guys be well ride safe and from rb it's a good or a big goodbye from me